the script for the, for this project of stains uh, I've been just so excited from the beginning um, Tony Forsythe the other writer slash director he brought over the script to me I was in my office just looking over some scripts and I get I guess he just wrote it and he he had just finished it and he wanted me to look at it look at look at the rough version and from that moment on I was like this is something that we need to make I was so pumped I ran over to uh, to my friend Cole who is uh, you know produces films and whatnot and you know I busted into his office and I slapped the script down the table and I'm like you have to read this I think it's the best thing I've written so far and you know, I've written some good stuff, you know, like Bioline, Bioline Gabriel Strain, you know, I'm working on another Bioline movie that's going to be good. Just the little the little moments in the script really stuck out, and I knew that the conversion to film would just be awesome. I knew that I would watch the film, and it would be just like the script said. I could just see it. I, could, I read it, and I pictured it. So, I mean, I, I told him, I'm like this is going to be amazing. We need to make this. And from that moment, when I went back and told him, we've been pre-planning it, and we've been planning, and and it, it, we finally did it. And I was happy. So, uh, what I'm going to need is this knife. This is like the key element. This this holds all the secrets, so this is, this is important. Like, the way you're going to want to hold it, the way you're going to want to act when you when you have it in hand. You are a merciless killer. N nothing will stop you. You have this knife in your hand. And, uh... Yeah, it stops me anyway. I, I know. I know. Where, where the fuck's Steve? Is he even here today? I haven't seen him. Steve! Anyway. Uh, try to emphasize. This is... When you're holding it, it is an extension of your body. So I want you to do up here, up here. You can feel it. You can feel it going right up here. I know. Kind of slowly traveling up. You expect your hair to tingle. I know. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. You know, maybe they shouldn't use a blade. Such a sharp edge. So, why this movie, Eugene? Well, I actually asked myself that quite a few times. Um, there's no way I would take it back. But originally, I wasn't so sure about things. Um, I, I met I met some of the other actors in the movie. I met Cole. Cole's a great guy. Um, he's funny. We have a grip. Um, his name's Steve. And, wow. I mean, he... I'm, I'm really looking forward to working with him later. I think he could do good, like... I think he could have been in it, honestly. I mean, that's just my... I do. I, never mind. I just feel it. It's bad. You know? But, uh, anyway. I like chickens. <laughs> Working with Eugene Nelson is just kind of the, one of those funny things. Uh, he's just, he's such a unique guy. It's like, whenever he was on, on set, I just, I, I kind of want to just follow him around just to see what kind of funny things he'll do next. Uh, him and him and another crew member, Steve, who is a grip on this production, uh, they I think they just really hit it off. They they were always joking around, and every time I was around them, or I just talked to them to see how they what they thought of their lines or whatever, I would be laughing nonstop. He's just he's just that kind of guy. You just you, you want to be around him. He's funny. So, uh, and I think I think a little bit of that charisma transfers on on screen. So, uh, okay, we set up this sink, or, no, you weren't listening, I'm saying, it, it doesn't fucking drip. What do you mean it doesn't drip? You told them to get a sink that drips, it goes straight from fucking off to, like, Niagara Falls. We can't get the shot of the sink dripping if the sink doesn't fucking drip. God. So did you talk to Steve? I don't know where the fuck Steve is. He's not <clears> here. <throat> probably with Eugene somewhere. 
I don't even know if he's here today. I he wasn't here earlier. Well, can you fix this? Not really. I'll, I'll, I mean, fuck out of my face. Watch out. Uh, no, yeah, I'll just show you. Okay. Now drip. That's gonna ruin the whole mood of the picture. I know. That's what I'm. That's the. That's. We need to get this fixed. But. I. You heard. I was talking to Steve, and I was like, "It just slow drip. That's all we need." I know. That's. I what said that. Did I say that? We made that. Perfectly. Did I say that? No, I remember. We made it perfectly clear who the fuck chose this set. Oh, oh, fuck ever. Fuck! Oh, hey. Uh, we just, we have a lot to do still. Just looking over this, uh, got a few more shots with Eugene, and, uh, the sink, I just called to get it fixed, and it said it's gonna take another day, I just, I don't know, it's just, we're gonna get it all, it's like, it's okay. I usually just stress a little bit. Um, we're probably fine. You know, we're, we're gonna. Uh, hey, Phil. Hi, Eugene. Hi. How are you? I'm not feeling good tonight. Did you get any of the donuts? We got a couple dozen. So oh, no, just make sure you guys. I'm not really that hungry. Could show you some of this stuff. You know? Oh no! Go ahead, please. Oh hello there. You seen Steve? He was like here a minute ago and I can't find him. We were talking earlier about uh, about inhalants and so I don't even know how we got talking about that shit. And he's like uh, thinking about he was thinking about the time he actually was doing that shit. It was just fucked up. If you ask me, we're we supposed to. It's okay, my cuss. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Anyway. He was, uh, he was telling me about when he was younger, when he would do those hands, and I was like, shit, man, that shit can kill you. And he's like, even worse, I could get an addiction. And I was like, <laughs> I was saying, man, you're crazy. <laughs> he's such a fucking bastard. <laughs> God, fuck Steve. <clears throat> Where is he with that, uh, Actually, I forgot what he went to get. Did you hear about the sink? What happened with the sink? It's not fucking working. It doesn't drip like it's supposed to. How is it supposed to drip? Just slow, slowly. Hey, hey, lighten up, man. No, you and Steve are fucking best friends, apparently. You hang out all fucking day. What is your problem with him? He didn't fix my fucking He's working! Sink. He's not even getting fucking paid! <laughs> you know why? Because he doesn't fucking fix sinks. I just wanted to tell you that earlier, the joke that you and Steve worked out, that was hilarious. I just, I couldn't stop laughing, so. It's flattering. It was... It just lightened up my day because I was worried about the sink and I, I just thought it was fun. Why does Tony have such a problem with Steve all the time? He's always being a dick about things. What do you mean? Well, he got mad at me like just a little bit ago about I left his laptop on the on the ground on the carpet like over up in the corner. Nobody even goes over there. He, he said it was overheating it or something stupid like that, and he got so fucking pissed. At me. He's. Do you ever want to just punch him in the face? Yeah, but we. How can you that's, stand this shit? That's between us, okay? One time I said that, you know, we need to keep a good working relationship, but, I mean, I love the guy, but he's a little crazy sometimes. But anyways, he's really protective. A little crazy he's is a little, an understatement. He's, he's a little crazy about his laptop, so, I mean. And a little crazy about sinks, and a little crazy about... I know, well, the sink's gonna be fine. He'll be, once, once the sink shot is over, once the sink scene is done, he'll be fine. It's just a little trouble with the sink, and... You know, Steve was the one who had to... He wouldn't even share a water bottle with me. He's a germaphobe. You know that. 